Good morning. I'm hoping that I've got everything right. What I decided to do this morning was actually use just the straight v.live rather than adding in my eCam because that was uploading an update. Took a time and yeah, I decided to just go straight with the v.live. And I was actually meaning to go like that first. It's just the solo. And now stuff that up, haven't I? <laughs> Good morning, Keza. Lovely to see you here. And we've got Kat. Good morning. <laughs> I've got to remember how to do the raw B.Live. It's been a little while. Well, except for those mobile devices that I still got to get used to. That's interesting when you're doing a live stream, starting it from a phone, you know, where we've come, we've got giant TVs and now we do things starting from a little phone. Goodness gracious. Now, uh, did I do yours, Kim? Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Kim. You must be driving because it's the wavy hand. So lovely to see you. Well, know that you're there, isn't it? And we've got Veronica in from Melbourne Cup Day. Oh, yes, it is Melbourne Cup Day. I don't take notice of the race horses. I, I had forgotten it was. <laughs> so there you go. What we're going to do, though, is switch it over. Well, I'm going to reveal that I've got the other... Um, camera going with our card so I'm actually going to do that as the switch around so that I'm in the corner yes got it I've got it now here we are with our our card those who fly solo have the strongest wings now I have noticed too I just didn't even notice that with the e-cam it cut off it had the little black um, things each side of the screen this takes the full screen so we've got more of the hours to see um, gorgeous so flying solo you'll have the strongest winds don't be fearful of being on that solo flight I just realized it actually shows up that part there my pendulum uh, you love the dress up <laughs> that's lovely yeah for those who like dressing up you probably have been able to tell over time that I'm not keen on that side of life. The makeup, the dresses and all that sort of hoo-ha, fashion, nah, not my scene. Um, I probably didn't dress up as a kid doing dress-ups very often and I probably didn't play with dollies very often or whatever the go was then. I've oh, had them occasionally. But here we go because what we have got is the child in this too, as you can see. And the other card that i got is from the Soul Infinity course. Um, the soul inner soul guidance oracle deck that Leanne and Deb have created, and so and that one is the infinity card there. So I'll just try and raise that up so we can see it more clearly. It's the never ending cycle of life or circle of life. We learn and move forward on our journey, and of course, if you remember, the infinity symbol can be created from a circle, and it's a beautiful symbol the way that they've depicted that there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It can be a butterfly. It could be just the two hearts. Like, it's just beautiful. Okay, so there we go with that. We've got, we are using the Guild of Brevery Lenneman deck, the Sierra Marchetti's extended deck. So I'll just leave that there since with this, um, <laughs> with B.Live, not realising it, that we've got more space to spread ourselves out. Uh, <laughs> good one for me, isn't it? Um, good evening to you too, Rachel. Rachel, you're going to come up for the completion of an end of a good week. Uh, looking forward to that for you. And Sarah, good morning to you. I'll let that one slide up because, as you know, I like that four-leaf clover. I think everybody's getting to know that, aren't you? <laughs> so there we go. There's a four-leaf clover. We create our own luck every single morning. It's a new day. Every little moment is a new, um, you know, time, a new opportunity, a new potential. And here we've got Kerry Ann saying good morning as well. Good morning. Now, what we've got, five card spread, of course. So we've got the dog in the home space, the child's in the workspace today. <laughs> or we've got the man, this is the younger man in this deck, so he's in the unexpected position. We've got a letter, the letter card in our role, and the ring is that central outcome commitment. 
which I think is really synchronistic with the fact that we've got a circle, a couple of circles, and then we've got the infinity that you just twist from a circle and you've got that beautiful infinity symbol. Well, probably not quite as beautiful as that, but you know what I mean. Um, it's it's absolutely gorgeous set of cards this morning. So much positives in there already without even reading them as such. It's beautiful. Kylie, good morning and how are you? <laughs> I like that. <laughs> your avatar, the only BS I need in your life is beach and sunshine. <laughs> gorgeous. It started off being an absolutely beautiful morning at six o'clock here this morning. Uh, hence putting on a light dress. I'm actually wearing this as a dress. I may yet still have to change it. I think the forecast is for 30 or something, um, but the clouds are coming over, so there you go. Julia, good morning to you as well. Lovely to see you here. Now, with the dog in our home space, it really is that bringing to home that love, the unconditional um, 29, Sarah, the number of the young man. Oh, sorry, 28. Oops, 28, the young lady is 29. So here we go with the dog in that home space. Nines, completion, it, like it's just going through that cycle of what a way to finish in the home space but to just take your dog out for a walk. Look at its pleading eyes. Look at its eagerness to and readiness to actually go for the walk, to actually play. There's the ball. It's just unconditional love personified in dogs, isn't it? And that's those beautiful gazing eyes. I love our dogs and it really is a pleasure to take them for a walk. When I get to walking, I'm a lazy sod. <laughs> and unfortunately, it means that yeah, Peanuts does sleep a lot. But that's what it is. We each have our wonderful, beautiful, unconditional, loving companions that will follow us, will be with us in whatever way we are with them as well. But as you can see, this one really is in the readiness of accepting that love, of accepting the play, of really reminding us that we need to do that too. Come on, it's time to get out and play. And then we've got that doubled up with the child card. So isn't that gorgeous? So I'll just put your comment up there since we're switching over to the workspace there. The young man is, and I'll just swing it a little bit. Whoops, as you can see. Whoa, hang on because it's the one thing, dicey little cameras, aren't they? There we go. I'll put it in view, Sarah. And we've got Nat. Oh, you're a little bit late, but I've only just started, Nat, so it's not a big issue. <laughs> so it's lovely to have you here, Nat. And Myra saying hi as well. Oh, look at that beautiful cat. Um, <laughs> I've been posting a few cat dog, dog cat um, thingies on the Facebook. <laughs> Interesting. There's some funny cartoons that people create, isn't it? That beautiful nature of dogs and innocent, well, trusting and all the rest. It's so gorgeous. And here we're moving into the uh, child sitting in our workspace and so trusting, ready for the adventure. Look at the potential coming out of that book. Um, I know it's not looking all that big for you. I'll just see if we can see it. I've shown it many times, but look at the fantasy land and look at the, the beautiful wonderment, the child's looking at the potential, the things to play with, what's next. I think make, a, um, you know, make some of what you're doing in your workspace today, that full on looking into what you're doing as if a child and seeing the potential, you know, what is it that's like that fantasy land for you in, in your work today? Uh, what can you create that's going to really buzz those around you with their thinking and feeling into their potential the best that they can? I mean, you have a look at that top that's there. See that spinning top? And once upon a time, it's your story to create the ball and everything. And what I've actually got here, and I will reach up for it because it's something that um, in... Uh, you know, doing some things that, <laughs> uh, you know, how you sort through your parents' stuff when they pass on. There we've got the spinning tops and they here, here I've got some hand-carved wooden spinning tops that would have been either my grandfather's or his. Uh, oh God, that shows up the dust that I've got on them, doesn't it? They almost look like acorns sitting there, um, but they do work except <laughs> that one's probably not the best one to use as an example. They do have to be on a still surface, on a surface. Look at that. 
Isn't it magnificent how we can create from just that little piece of a timber? And, whoops, oh, now they're not going to stay there. Well, I'll just leave them like that. <laughs> it just reminds us, here we have that child. It really is that potential that we've, we're going to have forward in our day-to-day, -day, like with the work, the work energy that we're bringing to the world. Because everything that we do has an effect. You look at these little sprinkly dots that are there, you know, whether it's moonbeams, whether it's sunbeams, whether it's little spirits flying around or the fairies or whatever we want to create that energy to be. It does in that movement. It moves the air. With the movement of the air, it's shifting energy and all of that that's potentially going to happen as a forward from that you know the butterfly effect some of you may have heard of that absolutely gorgeous so from the dog to the child they play so naturally together and we've got the young man it's it's almost a a growing pattern of look here we are we're in that contemplative stage now of oh wow um what can i bring to the world it's that growing up we're on that next stage uh, popping in that that I suppose it's the next level of wisdom without being the old ones the elders uh, and that type of thing so bring that energy of that strength and masculinity you know the masculine side the thinking more practical into it as well it's not all play but it certainly is still with that a trail of what has been playfulness in the youth still fresh in the mind of this young man that's what I'm feeling with this today so allow that progression of what is going to be you the the letter with your role is around that communication and sometimes we don't need to actually put it in writing and other times we do do you, we don't communicate with our dogs in a written form with a child do we really well not until they've learnt to read and write and that takes years so you know proficiently so we're actually using a different form of communication in this. It really is what our sight and our understanding of marks on a page is going to bring us in that communication. So we are using what is that level next up uh, and bringing in our intelligence to it as well because it does need a little bit of intelligence to understand what writing is, what the words actually mean, and then putting it into our trusting nature that what is written is truth as well because we're only ever going to be able to write and read from our own perspective of understanding okay and the way that we communicate each and every one of us does that differently as we can see here here we've got the dog it's just those beautiful eyes and the body language here we've got the the potential the, the whatever's going to be correct the everything that's going to be created from that child's mind and, uh, you know, what is moving forward into our future. Okay. And here we have on it, and this is all relevant for today, keeping that in mind. These are daily card spreads. So that, that generalness, you, you're going to have some um, specifics that you can relate to this, have this relate to your day as you're moving through it. And most especially as you're coming into the end of your day and what you're reflecting on as, you know, gee, what am, what have I learnt through the day today? What's been, oh, you know, it's really been a good day. I'm really thankful that this, you know, for this, for the experience, for the learning, but that this happened, that that happened, and gee, I received that. Oh, I was able to give that. It's all a cycle, you know, that the cycles of many different components. Here we've got that circle of you know twice in in the actual image and then we've got even partly a reflection it's so much that we can move through and be thankful for in our day by the time we you know experience what we're going through in whatever form that is taking for us so um i do feel that there is going to be some writing or some good reading for each and every one of you in some form so uh just to understand what it is meaning for you as part of the communication, what you're meant to be receiving through the day to day, okay? And more especially, I mean, I just, I just love the child. It's been in our cards for he or she. This child has been in our cards a few times through this last week from memory. 
So certainly um, bring that. Oh, I'm on the wrong one. I was quick trying to click that. So certainly bring that energy of the child into your day, that playfulness, uh, even if it is be the playfulness as much as you can gather together. Some of us don't have the body that likes to jump around and play like we used to, of course, but, you know, it doesn't take much to take a dog for a walk if you've got dogs, and that's a reminder for me as well. Um, so that that's, uh, you know, beautiful day while it lasts. I'll take peanuts for a walk and um, get it moving like that spinning top. Create something that's going to be a different patterning because uh, you know something completely new because those tops do create little patterns it'd be interesting to do it with a you know pencil or a pen on the end and just see where it goes on a page aha uh -huh. thinking <laughs> thinking <laughs> i like creativity so here we go um that is the cards for today so thank you for being here uh certainly if you feel that you want to share some of that on you know in the chat stream later on through the day uh, or tonight, you know, just to put, wow, it was, this is what happened for me. I'm not sure what your me too was, but I think it's, <laughs> you're a little bit late, but that's okay. Now, thank you, Keza. Yes, it is a beautiful day. And, oh, the wind's even picking up, which, I mean, a breath of fresh air is fine. It's when it get gust, gets gusty and wild that is a bit interesting. And, um, um, yeah, beautiful cards they are, Myra. So thank you, Sarah. And the beautiful lady child, have a perfect day. It is. Um, bring that playfulness in. And it's a lovely card spread. Absolutely. And that, thank you. Thank you very much. And everyone, enjoy your, well, your day, your afternoon, whatever you're doing. Enjoy your dress up. So those who like to do the, like I, I nearly forgot to mention the Melbourne Cup. So for me, it's just not in my head <laughs> because it's, oh, you know, dress up to me, no, not the, not my scene, but enjoy it if you do. If that's what really gets you going for Melbourne Cup, have a wonderful day for that as well. And if you like to, <laughs> and if you like to actually do, well, what do you call it, the flutter on the horses or something? Let's uh, pray for abundance in your winnings. <laughs> and Kim, thank you, Ros. Yeah, you're driving, just arrived at work. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much, Kim. It's lovely that you just listen even. I thoroughly enjoy just see, seeing your name there and seeing that avatar. Beautiful people, all of you are. And thank you, Rachel. Now you go. <laughs> yeah, you have a wonderful sleep. Enjoy your non-nights. Okay, oh, that's an old one. Two minute, no nights, no, ninety nine. <laughs> it is lovely to have you here, Sars. Thank you that you can actually move into your day tomorrow. Dream what's the potential for tomorrow being the second of November tomorrow after you've slept. Dressing up is your way of playing, absolutely. So you'll have a beautiful day too, won't you? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I love it. So thank you, each and every one of you. Uh, keep being the best you and I'll see you tomorrow around the 8 o'clock. Namaste for today and good luck on the horsies for those that like them. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs>